Sonic Boom becomes Sonic Thump. America's top scientists are working on a plane that can fly from LA to the Big Apple in just a few hours. Lockheed Martin and NASA have partnered up to develop a quiet supersonic plane named the X-59. The proposed single pilot craft has a wingspan of 29.5 feet, is 94 feet long, and weighs 32,300 pounds at total fuel capacity. NASA says the X-59 will be powered by a General Electric F-414 engine. This is the same engine used by the F-A-18 EF fighter jets. The craft's hull is designed to abate the noise from shockwaves traditionally associated with Mach speed travel. During that, shockwaves come together and create loud sonic booms. The space agency says the X-59 is designed to separate these shockwaves, resulting in much less noise reaching the ground. The aircraft's first flight test is scheduled for 2021. Canadian engineer designs Mach 24 aircraft antipode. Charles Bombardier has done it again. The engineer just released concept designs for yet another supersonic aircraft, Antipode. The plane has been conceptualized to carry as many as 10 passengers up to 12,430 miles in under an hour, reaching speeds as high as 16,000 miles per hour. If you can imagine, the world's fastest car clocked in at about 270 miles per hour. At 16,000, or Mach 24, which is a little over 18,000, Antipo is estimated to be capable of traveling from London to New York in just 11 minutes, a flight that currently takes eight hours. Antipo comes on the heels of Bombardier's November 2015 aircraft concept, the Screamer, which promised to travel at Mach 10 speeds, but was rife with design flaws. Following Screamer's announcement, Bombardier was confronted with sonic boom and heating issues that would render the concept non-functional. Antipode is Bombardier's response to Screamer's flaws. But if you're looking to catch a ride anytime soon, don't hold your breath. The aircraft is years away from fruition as most of the technology required to make it functional has yet to be developed. But now that the DeLorean might be back in production, you might not even need a Mach 24 aircraft. Japanese Space Agency tests supersonic plane with less sonic boom. Japan's Space Agency, JAXA, in cooperation with Sweden's SRAN Space Center, has successfully tested an experimental supersonic aircraft that emits a quieter sonic boom. The plane's design reduces shock waves typically created during supersonic flight, resulting in a quieter supersonic boom, according to popular mechanics. The aircraft represents an attempt to rectify some of the issues faced by the world's first supersonic commercial jet, the Concorde, which had its European routes cancelled due to noise levels. The plane, flight tested by Japanese space agency JAXA, was reportedly built to specifications conceived by Sweden's SRAN Space Center. In an experiment, the plane was dropped from a balloon at an altitude of 30 kilometers and reached supersonic speeds during the fall. The sonic boom data was collected via several aerial microphones attached to a blimp. JAXA expects to release detailed data from the experiment in the near future. Supersonic passenger flights will soon be a reality. A new airliner that boasts supersonic speeds is set to revolutionize air travel once it takes flight in 2023. Boom Technologies planned supersonic aircraft will have a cruise speed of 1,451 miles per hour, 2.6 times faster than any other airliner. While a flight from New York to London would typically take seven hours on a commercial flight, the trip would take a little over three hours on a supersonic airliner. The Mach 2.2 aircraft will have 55 seats, each priced at about 5,000 US dollars for a round-trip ticket. A one-third scale prototype called the XB-1 will begin test flights in 2018 to demonstrate and refine the key technologies required for supersonic travel. Unlike the now-retired Concorde and its notoriously loud sonic boom, the Boom aircraft will have turbofans for noise reduction and won't be much louder than a normal plane. The company does have some hurdles to face before their project comes to fruition. Supersonic flights are still banned in the U.S., but with federal laws currently set up for renegotiation, that could soon change. x Lynx passenger spacecraft almost ready for space trips. Lynx passenger spacecraft built by x Aerospace is close to completion, the company said. Lynx passenger spacecraft is a piloted two-seat vehicle designed to fly one passenger to space and back in 30 minutes. The spacecraft takes off horizontally, like an airplane. 50 seconds later, the engines are lighted, the aircraft goes supersonic, 
and very close to vertical position. It travels at three times the speed of sound, and three minutes after lighting the engines, the craft is at 180,000 feet, about 50,000 kilometers. It turns off its engines and coasts to peak altitude of 350,000 feet, about 107,000 kilometers. A minute and a half is needed to coast back down, enter the Earth's atmosphere, and then approximately 20 minutes are used for the aircraft to glide and land horizontally. According to XCOR, the Lynx is still undergoing tests. The first launch should take place within the next 6 to 18 months. Sonic boom from fighter jet caused tremors in New Jersey. While some panicked residents called 911 after feeling the ground shake earlier today, others took to social media to ask what caused the shaking. On Thursday afternoon, a series of tremors were felt in parts of the Northeast United States, making residents think they were experiencing multiple earthquakes. The real culprit was a supersonic flight test conducted on two fighter jets near the Patuxent River Naval Air Base in Maryland, which produced a series of sonic booms. A total of nine sonic booms were reported in 90 minutes, from 1.30 p.m. to 3 p.m. The U.S. Geological Survey centered the booms over Hamilton, with tremors felt from South New Jersey to Long Island, and the booms were heard as far away as Connecticut. A temperature inversion which puts warm air higher up in the sky may have caused the sonic boom to be felt over such a large area, as sound waves travel farther in warm air. A Navy spokesperson said these supersonic flight tests were conducted almost daily in the area, but were rarely felt on land. Boeing says commercial hypersonic jets could be a reality. The CEO of Boeing said at the Paris Air Show that commercial hypersonic jets will become a reality in the next decade or two, which will drastically cut down on current air travel times. Hypersonic generally refers to speeds of Mach 5 and above, which is faster than supersonic and more than five times faster than transonic speeds. A hypersonic jet can travel from New York to Shanghai in just two hours, whereas a conventional commercial flight usually takes around 15 hours. However, objects traveling at hypersonic speed have to withstand surface temperatures of up to 1,000 degrees Celsius, enough to melt aluminum and titanium. The two elements are common materials used in current aircraft construction. Sonic booms created by flights traveling at hypersonic speeds would also generate a noise on the ground that can permanently damage human ears. Despite the failure of the Concorde and skepticism over ultra-fast airliners, some companies have made continuous efforts to try to turn supersonic travel into a reality. Boom Technology is developing a 55-seat supersonic jet that it hopes will be in service by next decade. Lockheed Martin is also developing the quiet supersonic technology X-Plane that it hopes will eliminate the problem of sonic booms. Son of Concorde Plane prepares to go supersonic. U.S. aircraft maker Arion has launched a joint engine study with GE Aviation for a supersonic jet that aims to cut flight times between London and New York to just over four hours. The Arion AS-2 plane has a relatively short wingspan and a long fuselage, similar to the design of supersonic fighter jets. The plane's thin wings vastly reduce friction drag when compared to traditional aircraft wings. The AS-2 can reach speeds of Mach 1.5, which is one and a half times the speed of sound. The supersonic speed means the AS-2 could travel from London to New York in just four hours and 24 minutes. Private jet company FlexJet made the first purchase of the AS-2 when it ordered 20 of the aircraft in 2015. Arion hopes to launch the AS-2 next year with its first flight scheduled for 2023.